hello everyone welcome to another new video here in this video uh, we are going to start numerical related to the soil moisture and uh, crop relationship so you can see here we have a uh, question here this question is uh, taken from the world question and this question is asked in Pokhara University 2024 okay so in this video we will uh, solve this numerical uh, we have here okay so uh, let's uh, start the video okay so uh, let's see the question so uh, compute on the depth and frequency of irrigation required for a certain crop with uh, data given below uh, we have uh, given some data and we have to uh, determine the depth and frequency of irrigation okay and uh, we have given data uh, root zone root zone depth equal to uh, 100 cm so let's see uh, given data let's write here uh, root zone depth uh, root zone depth equal to 100 cm and uh, the field capacity equal to 22 percent so uh, given field capacity equal to 22 percent and wilting point uh, equal to 12 percent okay uh, so uh, we have a root zone equal to 100 cm i have already written here and wilting point that is pwp equal to 12 percent okay simply the wilting point is denoted by pwp pwp means simply the uh, wilting point okay and it's given here 12 percent apparent specific gravity of soil equal to 1.5 and the specific gravity of soil is given uh, over here 1.5 and uh, consumptive is equal to 25 mm per day okay and uh, so uh, here comes up to is equal to 25 mm per day and efficiency equal to 50 percent okay so this is uh, the data given now we have to determine the depth and the frequency of irrigation okay so uh, before solving this numerical let's uh, see some concept related to the swell crop relationship and the relation between uh, duty delta and crop period okay so let's see here okay you can see here i have written the relation between duty delta and uh, crop period okay so simply uh, delta is denoted by this delta okay and uh, now we will see different relation okay and before this uh, if you are new to the channel please uh, do subscribe the channel and uh, like the video and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update and i have uploaded different numerical of irrigation engineering okay so you can visit our channel and i will keep a link in description box okay so you can uh, visit from there too okay so uh, we have if uh, if the volume of water applied to the crop for b day if B is the volume of water applied and uh, for the uh, B days, okay, then uh, we can simply calculate volume equal to discharge into time, okay. So uh, for discharge, uh, Q into T and uh, the value of Q into 2 equal to 1 into 6 into 6, okay. Uh, this is after calculating uh, time in, uh, for here the time is in day, okay. For the uh, converting day into uh, second, then we have to multiply 24 hour into 60. Then it be goes into a meter, and after multiplying 60, it uh, will be in a second. Okay, so we have multiplied by 60 into 60 into 24 into 1, and uh, simply the B is in days. Okay, uh, so this converted into second, and now uh, we have calculating this value. Uh, we get H6400 uh, B. Okay, this is in meter cube per second. Okay, so this is the uh, volume. Volume becomes in meter cube. It means simply uh, volume equal to H6400 bit meter cube. Okay, now we have to calculate the total depth of water applied on the land. So it can be simply calculated by the volume by area total volume by total area so we will get the depth of water applied on land so we have total volume equal to h6 4 double zero b and area equal to 10 to the power 4 d okay uh, this is in hectare so uh, we will get uh, the value of this 
becomes after dividing uh, this value at 6 4 double 0 b by 10 to the power 4 we will get uh, 8.64 b by d okay in meters so uh, you have to uh, remember uh, that here the delta is in cm and b in always in day and d equal to a hectare per q max okay uh, q -mic. okay and uh, by the definition of delta okay so i will show you what is uh, the definition of delta you can see here uh, delta is simply the ratio of total quantity of water that is in hectare meter to the total area of land as i told okay and water depth required for the crop during entire base period if the entire quantity of light of water will spread uniformly on the land surface the depth of water would have been equal to delta okay as this definition we can calculate the calculate the delta and thus the delta in a meter of uh, average crop can be determined by uh, driving the total quantity of water in hectare meter required by the uh, crop area land in HA. So as, by, as we saw the definition of delta equal to total depth of water. Okay, uh, that is delta and the total depth of water I have we have already calculated that is 8.64 b by delta. So we just keep this value over here. So the value of delta becomes 8.64 b by d in cm. And whenever take in meter, the value of delta equal to 8.64 b by d in meters. Okay, now let's see the solution of numerical. So uh, let's see. Uh, we have given this uh, all data okay now we have to calculate the value of amc so simply the value of amc can be calculated by the dividing of uh, wielding point field capacity minus wielding point simply uh, field capacity minus wielding point okay simply the value of amc can be calculated by uh, subtracting wilting point from the field capacity so we have given over a field capacity uh, equal to 22 percent so we just keep the value 22 minus uh, wilting point the wilting point value is 12 percent so uh, we have to divide or uh, subtract this value and then the value of amc becomes 10 percent okay so we have calculated the value of amc that is 10 percent now whenever we calculate the ram then we have to simply multiply this value with the efficiency so uh, for calculating the value of r uh, we have to um, multiply with the efficiency of this value okay amc times efficiency just simple okay so we have on uh, the value of amc equal to 10 uh, uh, sorry yeah um, uh, we have the value of uh, amc equal to uh, 10 percent and uh, the value of efficiency yeah we have given uh, in the question that is 50 percent and the efficiency equal to 50 percent so we have to just take the value of efficiency in decimal so uh, the 50 percent means in decimal 0 0.5 so we uh, just multiply uh, 0 0.5 efficiency with the uh, amc okay and the value of amc is 10 percent and we get the value of ram Mr. RAM equal to 5 percent okay so uh, we calculated the value of RAM now we have to calculate on depth of water available for consumptive use so depth of uh, water available equal to gamma dry into uh, depth D into RAM by gamma of water okay simply we have to divide by gamma of water then gamma of on uh, dry uh, we have to take a uh, 1.5 and uh, in question is also given here you can see here the specific uh, gravity of soil okay simply uh, you can see here the apparent uh, specific gravity of soil is equal to uh, 1.5 so we have to take gamma of d equal to 1.5 and uh, depth depth equal to 1 and ram uh, we have already calculated the value of ram equal to 5 percent 5 percent means simply uh, 0.05 in decimal so we have we have taken this value 0 0.05 and the gamma of water as we know gamma of water is always taken in one okay so on the gamma of water is taken to one then the value of uh, depth of water available becomes 0 0.075 in meter and uh, here uh, we have taken this all value in meter that's why the uh, the calculator value is also in meter 
so 0.075 meter and converting this value into mm uh, we will get 75 mm in uh, mm okay so depth of water available for consumptive use we have already calculated now simply we uh, we can calculate the irrigation interval equal to uh, this depth of water available uh, 75 mm uh, with the, by the total uh, uh, 25 days okay uh, so i will show you here so the value of uh, irrigation interval becomes uh, 3 days so uh, now we have taken for this 75 that is the value of uh, calculated depth of water available for consumptive use and it can be divided by uh, consumptive use that is we have given here 25 mm per day okay so we have to divide uh, for this value and we have to multiply with 1 okay sometimes we have to multiply with uh, 1.2 okay so that depends on condition okay and you can simply take uh, 1 or 1.2 so after calculating this value we get irrigation interval equal to 3 days simply uh, 3 days means we have to uh, irrigate the land in every 3 days of interval okay uh, we have to supply water we have to supply water or irrigate water in every uh, 3 days interval okay simply it means that now uh, we can calculate depth of water equal to uh, 75 by 0.5 okay so this is the we have to uh, for the depth of water we have to divide with the efficiency okay so we have efficiency equal to 0 0.5 so just uh, we divided with the, this value and the value becomes 150 mm okay and uh, we already calculated the value of uh, depth of uh, water available equal to 75 so we just uh, divide this value with the efficiency uh, because we know efficiency equal to efficiency equal to input by output and you can say this uh, like as uh, the depth of water available at consumptive use okay. uh, depth of water available at consumption used to the depth of water depth of water okay so uh, after using this formula you can calculate the depth of water and the value of this becomes 155 ml okay so this is uh, what asks in the question to calculate depth and frequency of uh, water so we have calculated depth of water equal to 150 uh, mm and uh, we have efficiency e equal to 50 uh, percent okay uh, so So at last uh, we get the value of irrigation interval equal to uh, 3 days, depth of water equal to 150 mm and depth of water for the consumption uh, use uh, becomes 75 mm. Okay, so uh, that's all for this numerical. So I hope you guys will understand. Thank you very much. And uh, in, in next video we will uh, solve the second numerical. Okay, and this numerical is asked in uh, Pokhara University 2019 fall. Okay, in this video, we will solve uh, this numerical. So, uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much. See you in next video. Please uh, like the video and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you will get uh, regular update. Thank you very much. See you in next video. Okay, if you have any queries, please comment down below. Okay, I will definitely reply. Thank you very much.